Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Oh my goodness, our wagon is a little beat up, but that's okay. We need to, uh, you know, fix up a good bit of this. This tire is okay, but this tire is again unbalanced. Alright, let me see what I've got in my bag. Uh, my car is at 80%. So that's not great. Fix it up here. That's a nice door. That's a steel door. I got a steel door. See, we got steel panel here. This hood is steel. We're getting there. Bumper's crude. I mean, you know, it's gonna be... Bumper's going to bump. Windows cracked. Sure. All right, looking good. We'll take it. Car fully repaired. Uh, do we want to hit the tires a little bit? Yeah, we can. If we want to, you know, just opt optimize lack these babies. Sure. Um, okay. Now this guy needs a mechanics kit, I think. Um, the ceiling kit's not what it needs. I need to try to make exactly what it needs. This is a rally steering wheel. Oh, that's kind of fun. Hey, let me go into uh, this guy and inventory and just kind of um, whoops wrong thing uh, there we go I transferred it and you could see my scrapper is all busted up I don't know if I've checked out in this garage yet I don't know if there's much in here, just power and stuff, but it's worth investigating. She's got some wrenches and God knows what. Okay. So I'm going to actually go to the settings. So these are some things where people were telling me about uh, convenience, low car health HUD warning, low fuel HUD warning, low battery HUD warning. These might be nice. Uh, I'm going to try playing with these on and then brighter nights is something that people were telling me about so it's not so dark i'm going to try that i do have my new flashlight which is great uh you can bump up the loot to be more visible i like this the game is hard to see um so i'm okay with just like cranking that a bit and uh No, I think everything is fine. That's just like if you get sick from seeing the game um, do its thing. Okay, I'm going to try these. Pause game while in menus is unbelievable. I should have seen this. Thank God you can do this. Yes, I love this in Subnautica. I'm going to go with this. Um, I'm going to do this too. And this is like your own, you know, cup of tea. But I like to read the lore. I like to read stuff. And so I don't want to take radiation damage when I'm reading. Um, failed run penalty. Uh, faster nights. Alex was telling me about this. So Hellfire and Alex, a lot of people have been really helping me about with the game. I appreciate that. I can make the night pass faster. I think with brighter nights, I'm okay. Um, I could turn off death if I wanted. Um. Keep items on failed runs, lose everything, lose some items. I'll leave it at lose some, but I might take that off depending on how hard it gets. Um, uh, doors are closed. I guess that's fine. Tap to shift gears. 
I didn't even know that this was. I thought this was an automatic transmission. I, I maybe. Um, easy ignition, yes. Swap a part on your car for one in your hand in one interaction. Um, that might be nice. I love how many things they give you to modify uh, tedious elements of the game. Oh my goodness. This is kind of sick. I'm not going to turn this on, but this would like... Uh, I like this. Successful run, free repair. Restore the car after a successful return to the auto shop. It just saves you time from having to make that putty and put it everywhere. Uh, we don't need infinite fuel. Um, oh, I'll keep these off. Fine. I won't change any of those modifiers, but I really like that one. Not because it's hard to repair your car, simply because um, it saves time to not have to do that. So these panels, you know, these are free. Um, oh, there's stuff in here. Alright. No? That's nice. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Great. Okay, I don't know if I need anything, but um, I might as well. I tell you what, having all of those modifiers at your disposal really, really goes a long way. Honestly, if they would just add... Um, the ability to save on exit on the run, uh, I would be, the game would be over the top. It's already, I think it's a really cool game. And not everybody's going to be affected by that as much as uh, others, but I need to be able to, if something comes up, just close down the game so I can use my computer for something else or whatever it is. All right, let's see. Okay, great. I'm going to dump all my stuff into... Where'd it go? Um... Well, we'll find it. Oh, I put everything in the lockers. That's right. I was like, how is my transfer trunk empty? By golly. Lockers. Okay. So we need to really just upgrade. We need to build a spare impact hammer and scrapper for the run. We also need to make a mechanics kit. Uh, to fix the wheel wobbling. Right. Go to my inventory. Hit. Oh uh, no. Uh, equip it. Wait, you can't equip it. Oh, because you got to put something down. Um, is there a gear in my bag? There it is. Fixed it. We need some repair putty and three road flares. Well, that's what they want, but... I'll put the spare scrapper in here. Uh, oops. Wrong button. Here, put it in there. Oh, I already have one. Well, now I've got two. And...
I mean... The problem... I don't have putty because I don't have enough chemicals. Uh, so we'll have to pray that we can get some on the road. But we can craft that pretty easily. Alright. Now, do I want to change how I look? Man, not just yet. Let's see what we've got over here. Alright. So, I've already been here. But I haven't been here. Junction conditions. Scary. Or maybe we don't know, is what they're saying. Uh, and then this one says... We don't know. We don't have any info. And I don't know what the number in the circle means. How many stops you have to go through to get there? Oh, oh, uh... K-Lim for Gateway. Okay. Well, let's check this one. I don't know. It says Underground Mischief. That looks terrifying. Uh, there's a lot of houses, which is good. Low radiation. I like that. A stable anchor. There's an abductor. Okay. What is... Uh, can I get the info? I don't know what Underground Mischief means. Looks like little, like, gophers, like in Caddyshack or something. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's see how the quick ignition works. Like a dream. Oh, maybe that's what they mean when you're shifting gears. I mean, right now I'm only shifting in between park and drive. I guess that's technically shifting gears, but... Alright. I'm hitting 60 MPH here. Or I guess these are... No, it does say MPH on there. I went up to about... 88. Um... Now, I can't travel there. Do I have to travel here first? I didn't know if I could just zoom through. Okay. All right, vehicle health empty. What? No, it's fine. Um, malfunctioning mess. Oh, okay, so things are malfunctioning. All right. Um, okay, look at the map. And we need to get to the arrow. I guess. Oh, everything's malfunctioning. I see. Okay, I just go straight on the road and I turn right. I'm not stopping for anything. We're trying to get through here. Oh, God. All right. Oh, 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 wait. I said I'm not stopping for anything, but my buddy Hellfire gave me a tip on this. Actually, I don't think I have any road flares. Um, on me. But I heard that maybe you can... Uh, yeah, here we go. Flare gun. Shoot one of these tourists and then they'll all blow up. Uh-oh. Well, did I shoot it? Right. And that sometimes they drop stuff. Maybe. So... 
plastic. Oh god. Okay, it's just rain. Uh. Well, I guess either I got unlucky or there wasn't much to drop. Maybe it's only... Here's my flare gun. Alright. Well. Alright. Maybe it's only sometimes that they, uh, they drop stuff. But we did get them. And it's good to know. Or, I mean, if you look at this, maybe they shoot it out way, like, really, really far away. By the way, you see how I have brighter nights on, and it just really, really helps out. Alright, let's go. Actually, where am I on the map? Yeah, I have a long way to go. Alright. We have to avoid the bad guy. Uh, well. That's beyond annoying. Is it always going to be there? No. Oh, here's a treasure box, though. Gotta get this. Uh, there's copper wire, rubber. Yeah, there's good stuff in there. Thermo sap crystal. That is rare. That's what I need for um, one of the things I'm trying to build. Now, that actually could have come from... For all I know, the uh, tourists that I blew up, and maybe it just flew that far, I don't know, but, or it just came from a tree, I don't know. Either way, we got one. We need, I think we need two or three of them to make the uh, item that allows you to just extract parts from cars. All right, we got some shenanigans right here. You know what? I talked all tough, like I'm not going to get out of my car, and I just can't help it. I don't really need this flare gun. Um... I don't want to, um, okay, um, there's one in my hand and there's one in my pack. I actually want to, uh, here, okay, there we go, there we go, it was just kind of a strange artifact, okay, uh, good, and then let me go over here, let's just check out this house, yeah, look at that, you could see the loot with this, uh, thing enabled, oh, that's really, really nice. You don't have to play that way, but... Oh, wrong thing. I like it. Alright, give me that. Oh my goodness, look at all that cloth. It doesn't tell you what you're going to get, right? It just tells you, like, how many lootable containers that there are to help you not miss any and help you know if it's worth your time, which is so important. I'm not sure if I'm always going to play with that on, but I do kind of like it so far. Let me look in the trunk over here. Oh, wait, not that. Oh, my God, it broke. Well, that's what I get. Bam. We'll take it. I have a spare impact hammer. Let me get it. Deet, deet, deet. 
And let me just dump all my stuff. I have the side storage, too. So we're equipped for a big run. Heck yeah. Alright, where am I on the map? I'm getting close to the junction. Uh, there's a bunch of tourists here. Let me try it again. If I get... Let's just keep doing science with uh, the thermosap. See if that's what it is. Well, we got plastic. Flare gun actually lasts pretty, a pretty good amount of time. All right, so you can see there is no loot in this cabin because it's, I, I don't think so. It looks like it's too irradiated. Right, you can't get inside, but there is a another pneumatic compartment over there. Let's go get that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get closer to this. I could check out that car if I wanted. It's not a bad idea. And there's also a house. Alright. Okay. Um... All right, I think I saw something good here, actually. I didn't know what it meant, but it was over here, and easy shifter. Tap to shift gears. That's what we're talking about. I don't want to have to hold it. I always want to just tap it. All right, what you got? Wow, what's this? A sticker. Cool. This is painfully radioactive, this area that we're in. That's okay. Happens. Dumpster. Ooh. A whole panel. Um, I'll take everything I can. I don't really need a whole panel. Not even to store. Alright, and then let me check out the rest of this house. Oh, these things, I haven't been able to figure out how to get inside yet. Electrician's kit, which I can't make yet. But that's something we, we should put on our list of things that we want to make. Oh, it's getting way too radioactive here. Get me out of here. I'm getting owned. Okay, we're in a storm, I think. All right, here. Hit me, hit me, go. Yeah, the automatic, like, the quick shift and start is so nice. Alright, I'm gonna just ride around these guys. Okay. It's interesting, like, sometimes if you just back away from those, it's game over. Well, we definitely got one thing. Plastic. Plastic, plastic, okay. Uh, 
All right. What you guys got? Anything? Plastic. Oh, I guess I used all my flares. Okay. Well. Uh, I think they all blew up. We'll take it. There it is, thermosap. That's what I'm talking about. So, Hellfire, thank you so much. That must be what's getting me the thermosap. Unless it just happens to fall from a tree. It's possible, but... Um, I think if I get one or two more of those, I'm in the catbird seat with being able to get that new tool. Oh my god. I ran into a tourist that... I didn't see it. Okay, that's my own fault. Uh, so let's go ahead and eat. Use it. Any loot from that tourist that killed me? No. What is this pile of debris? Oh, it's an anomaly. It's a wriggling wreck. Okay. We got it scanned. Wagon's not looking its best. Alright. And let me... We're at 65 health, though. The food really helped us. Okay. Let's go back. And we're going to take a right. Okay. Here we go. I hit the bush. That's okay. Uh, do I want to use the ramp? Of course. I always kind of want to do this. I. It might damage the car, but it's fun. It's probably why my tires are always thrown out, actually. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. Where am I on the map? Yeah, this is it. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh boy, that's a lot of tourists. Uh, oh, there's a uh, Arda inspector though. Now let me turn off. And yeah, let me turn off the headlights. My my battery is running low. All right. So first of all, let me dump my stuff over. And then, let me see about... Uh, can I craft the... I can make a first aid kit and a ceiling kit. Spare tire. But I can't make a flare gun yet from with what I have. But I could try and just throw a flare. Okay, there's a uh, abductor. Like, what if I just equipped a flare and I threw it into the group. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know if that turns it on or not. Okay, let's get it. Let's just... That was the wrong thing to do. Um, here we go. Arda Investigator. Sweet. They always have so much good stuff. All right, we got chemicals. Very good. Uh, I'm going to use a first aid kit. Can I get my flare, or can I just do like a... That did not work. Eh, uh, not close enough, I don't think. Oh, 
I'm just getting away from this abductor. I'm not even taking any chances. No worries. Uh, that's another anomaly. I'm not sure what that is. Doesn't look good. Uh, why is everything beeping? Oh, God. Go. Alright, it's very scary. Man. Okay. Um... So one of, one of the things I want to do is try to scan that anomaly if possible. That much cloth is so worth... It's just unbelievable. Alright. So this house is basically off limits. Been sealed up. However... Um... Okay. Yeah, let's go. I could break this TV. Yes. And let's just go ahead and put stuff in here. There. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and light it up. Go. And we just need to follow the road, and we get out of here. So I'm going to try to cut back toward the road. Um, this thing, I, I'll do my best to try to drive around it. Oh, we're getting some kind of crazy radio interference. That's fantastic. Don't pull out the station. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't worry about the future. Alright, we got big problems here. Took a little damage. Got dinged up a little bit. I can probably repair the car. Alright, we made it to the next area. So this area right here, this is high instability. Um, extreme conditions. That's about what it felt like. Alright, um, so we're now here. Let me look at the map. Um, so what we want to do, there's two cores here and here. And there's a lot of towns. This is pretty sweet. So we'll just drive right in. But let me just shut everything down for a moment. Uh, let me also just quickly check on... Make sure I have the uh, streamer safe mode. Okay, yeah. I don't want it. I don't know which music is copyrighted or not, but I don't want it to be playing. Okay. I want to be able to post the video with no problems. All right, let's see. So what I'd like to make is some repair putty. Can we craft that? Yes. Uh, 
Alright, so the car has been taking some massive damage. Tire needs, uh, it's got a hole in it. I mean, I have a spare tire, but I haven't figured... I can't put this on unless my tire is completely dead. Okay. I think this is pretty good. This uh, soundtrack makes the game just that much creepier, which is good. Alright, look at this. I don't think I... I've never been into a... This is like a living area. Oh, let me uh turn off my If I keep my headlights on, it's over. So I got my flashlight on. And now it's like even brighter, which is so nice. But Brighter Nights and the loot highlight make it so you almost don't need it. But I'm always a player. I just love light. Okay, here we go. Uh... Oh, okay, it's a garage. Or a shed. I hope you don't mind. Alright. Good stuff. Did you have to break my radio? Yes. I did. Alright. There we go. Great. Bam. Oh, this is a quick slot, derp. Okay. Alright, great. And... Oh my goodness, dressers are the gold mine for cloth. You know, I was like, running into difficulty getting enough of that stuff. Not anymore. Whoop. Not that button. Oh boy. Alright, here. No, the button I'm meaning to... Uh, here we go. I'm trying to pick up this so I can get the food. There we go. Now, yeah, pick up that. Okay. Alright, this house is sealed, but there is something over here. And we'll 
We'll take it. Oh. We'll take it. Oh. My goodness. We'll take it. Fantastic. All right. Where's my car? It is right over here. Boy, this is a loot haven. Uh, yeah, I'll just use this type side storage for now. Might as well. Well, everybody, this is amazing. We are in a little town, and we still have anomalies to get. We still have a bunch of places to loot, but changing the settings has really helped out. Uh, I can, you know, see a little bit at nighttime, which is great. Like, watch this. If I were to go away from this setting of brighter nights or whatever, um... This is what it looks like. So, youch, right? And it's more realistic this way, of course, or more like perhaps in keeping with what they were going for. But for me, I enjoy just having a little bit more visibility. I could crank up my monitor brightness, but why bother? I love that it's built in. All right, everybody. Well, what we're going to do is keep exploring this area try to get some anomalies, stable anchors. Um, I keep interchanging those, but I'm trying to get stability anchors. Then move back, upgrade, and see where we're at. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and thank you for sharing all of your tips. I will check you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>